Nothing better than having a whole sheet of ice to yourself. That's the best. How does it feel to be putting on your hockey skates again the first time in a while? I know you grew up loving the game. Yeah, I, I like to skate, you know, once a week or once every two weeks when I'm home as much as I can. Haven't much. We had a lot of travel and, and a busy schedule since we started up, but I love it. Hockey is kind of the thing that I can just go do and have fun and there's really no pressure and it's a great workout. There's probably some muscles that are going to need to be woken up today that I haven't used in a little while, but either way, it should come back eventually. Oh. Maverick, how did you first even get into hockey? Uh, my dad grew up in Michigan, uh, played for his high school hockey team, and he taught us all how to skate. My first set of skates was a set of two blades that I just taped to the bottom of my uh, tennis shoe. What are some drills that you used to do when you were playing? Lots of stick handling stuff. I think pucks are kind of the best stick handling trainers. So you can just do kind of forward and back through figure eight as quick as you can. You do little circles around them. You could do pop it over the puck. Oops. We learned how to skate in power skating. So we use our edges. And that's what we use to cut and, and grip the ice. Power skating coaches from a very young age just had us doing drills. So we do simple ones like swizzles, which is one leg at a time. We were working on making that cutting sound. They also had us learn how to generate power using our legs and our glutes and do it one-legged. Inside, outside, inside, outside. Like that to generate the power. Switch feet. So it's all learning our feet, learning our edges. I'm definitely no hockey or golf pro, but from watching the motions of each one, there's so much correlation. Yeah. So have, do you still use hockey to train for golf? I prefer skating to working out. I never had any back injuries, hip injuries while I was playing hockey, and I turned pro and didn't really get to skate much for the first year, year and a half. Started to have some kind of nagging back injuries and stuff, and I just thought, man, what's changed? I never used to have this. and. I actually went out and skated here in the first five minutes of being back on the ice. I felt like my back was opening up and just loosening and haven't had any issues since. And then there's a lot of rotational speed and core in hockey. So that I think is, is really good for getting speed on the golf course too. You get a cardio workout in with, well, I'm having so much fun that I don't even realize that I'm doing that much cardio. Yeah, you can see the smile on your yeah. face as we're just out here skating. It's like, so fun. I mean, you get to go skating, you could skate twice as fast as you can run. And it's just fun to go fast. It's fun to shoot pucks. In hockey, you have a very unstable base. So if I twist left, my feet go right. If I twist right, my feet go left. So you have to dig in on the edges and you load in your right leg. The power we get in hockey actually comes from flexing our stick. So we, we are like shooting kind of at that angle. So we don't pick the puck up, we pressure down into the ice and that's what gets the kick and the shot. Very similar to golf where it's just rotational this way. You load on your right side and rotate through. So in hockey, it's just, just a little more exaggerated and a little less precise. There we go, just like that. All right, Maverick, for those of us who have never played hockey before, give us a tutorial. How do you do a shot? What you wanna do is on all your shots, especially the wrist shot, you wanna start with the puck outside of your back foot. Okay. So that's way on your forehand, and you wanna start with it on the heel. Okay, of, of the, the stick. stick. And right. so what you need to do is you wanna have about 80% of your weight on your right foot, 20% okay. on your left, Okay. and as you go forward, you want the puck to slide toward the toe. Okay. And then you just follow through to the target. Flick your wrist? Yeah, All you right. just wanna shake hands with the target that way. 80-20 and then forward. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. 
That was good. You just you want right. to cut. You want to. I feel thing like is, you need momentum when you're doing this. You do. Is you it do. a lot easier when you have that? It is, but you also want to cup the stick like this. Okay. You want to you want to close down the face. If it's open like this, it's gonna fly off to the right. Just okay. Like that. So, so that's why it flew off because it was open. 80-20. Exactly. There you go. There it is. Nailed it. Goal. Done. Hands Duff. up. Stick up. Duff. <laughs> She's out. She's out. Perfect. As we're out here on the ice, kind of reminiscing, what are some of your favorite memories of growing up playing hockey? Well, um, won a couple state championships, and you know, back playing hockey, all my best friends were on my hockey team. Uh, Dad coached me uh, for a couple years. It's different being on a team sport, and that's part of the reason why I'm so set on wanting to make the Ryder Cup team and President's Cup teams one day. And there's nothing like being on a team and sharing a locker room with those guys. It's there special. I'm really thankful that my parents got me into uh, two of, I think, the coolest sports out there, golf and hockey, and um, I'm really thankful we got to do it with my family and play the same sports with my brothers, and they're all really good. I mean, I think they're all arguably as good, if not better, hockey players than me, and we're all pretty solid golfers too. So uh, it's been competitive and fun, but I love playing both. Dad would take us out to the driving range and there'd always be one or two of us that didn't really want to hit balls. And he'd say, that's all right, you could just sit in the van and hang out. And eventually all four of us would be out there having a blast, practicing, playing, and really taught us how to love the game. I never made him play golf, but you know, it got really boring sitting in the car. Perfect. Right down the middle. We live in the same town now here in Summerlin. He's off building his career and doing his thing and traveling like crazy. So anytime Susan and I spend time with any of our boys, we cherish it and love it. Right down the middle again. All right, nice. Just play one from back in here. Lost ball. All four of my boys beat me at 12 or 13 and they all got a picture of me laying on the green. They're holding the pin with a foot on my chest having beaten me. I remember dad was uh, coming off a hockey injury. He broke his leg, and that was uh, a very opportune time to step on him while he was down. He didn't get dinner for a week after beating me. <laughs> you got a three putt from there, man? So I gotta sink it? I just scared there for a second. Dad made the cut playing the at and and it was my freshman year. My dad called me and said, hey, I need a caddy on Sunday. I'm paired with Phil. Do you want to come caddy? I said, sure. We're sitting on the fifth tee, and I'm talking to Phil. And I said, Phil, I texted you. I wanted to be your partner this year. Why didn't you respond? He goes, well, I never got your text. He said, I changed my phone number. What number do you have? So I pulled up my phone. He goes, yeah, that's my old number. And he says, here, here's my new number. And then he gets up to walk away, and Mav looks at me, and he goes, Dad, you're really cool now. Yeah, you're officially cool now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get it close. Oh. To call the fun out of my putt. <laughs> Don't I get a stroke here? Whatever you want, Dad. <laughs> I'm happy for them on what they've done for golf. I'm proud of them for what they've done in life and how they handle themselves. I'm happy Matt's playing great golf, but I'm also proud of his professionalism. And I'm more proud of that than I am his results on the tour. The best thing my dad has given to us as a family is how close my brothers and I all are. What mom and dad did to create a really strong family bond, you know, around things like golf and hockey and, and doing things together as a family, I'm starting to realize it's pretty unique and pretty special, and I'm so thankful for that.